Today, the review embargo has lifted on Super Mario 3D All-Stars, which means the reviews are in, and oh boy, are the reviews all over the place. Before we get into this, I am giving away three copies of this game, three copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Click the gleam.io link down in the description to enter. Uh, also, if you join our Patreon at patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime for as little as $1 a month, you get 15 entries in every giveaway we do. Also, we have a second giveaway for a Nintendo Switch Lite, and then two second place winners that will win uh, switch game of choice to enter that giveaway there's a laundry list of, of things to do down in the description including subscribing to the channel hitting the bell icon all that stuff so be sure to check that out as well all right super mario 3d all-stars has had the review embargo lifted and uh there's a lot of uh, different reviews we could look at but i'm basically going to be go looking at metacritic um I realize Metacritic weights things. So when you see like that 83 Metacritic score is what it has right now, uh, that's actually a really good score on Metacritic. But, you know, some people might be like, these are some of the best games ever. You know, what, what, what about, what, what, what do the big outlets think about it? Well, comicbook.com, you know, pretty big site, uh, gave, it, gave it a perfect score. But beyond that, it didn't really get a perfect score anywhere else. It still got some high 90s from some places. You know, you guys might have heard of, uh, places like my Nintendo News or Nintendo Enthusiast, obviously like Nintendo websites are, are, are likely to, to give it really high scores, but none of them really gave it 100, not even Nintendo Life. But then you, you start to get down here a little bit, um, and you're starting to notice that uh, some of the bigger outlets, you know, Destructoy gave it an 85, uh, you know, as, as you scroll on, you know, IGN Spain gave it an 80, GameSpot gave it an 80, uh, US Gamer gave it an 80, GamesBeat 80, uh, and it gets it gets even lower from there. PC Magazine gave it a 70. Uh, Screen Rant gave it a 70. IGN Italy gave it a 70. So, you know, they have different websites. And so the Italian website gave it a 70. Um, Power Unlimited dropped a 60 on that bad boy. Um, it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's a tough game to judge um, because it's three games in one. So like one game could be awesome and the other ones could not. And I guess I guess this is basically w w when you look at the review scores uh, and you look and you look at all the reviews. There'll, there'll be hundreds, if not thousands, of video reviews and written reviews going up today. The thing is, Super Mario Three D All Stars. We already know what these games are. So the reviews are going to basically be: Do you like these games originally, or do you not? If you like them originally, this is a great collection pack. If you don't, okay. And then there's the second thing of. Do you compare Super Mario 3D All-Stars to things like the Spyro Remastered Trilogy or the Crash Bandicoot Remastered? Because this isn't a remaster. It's literally Super Mario 3D All-Stars. And I think what, what's, what's getting lost in all of this and, and why I think it's unfair to compare this game to other remasters, even if I wish they would have went that route, is that it's a collection pack. It's not a remastering. Nintendo never advertised it as a remastering. So why should we judge it against actual remasters? Now, the reason, too, is because of the price, right? All the remasters uh, that, that fully remastered the games didn't charge 60 bucks for, the, for their games. But Mario, out of all the remasters we've talked about, Crash and Spyro, like, come on, Mario's a bigger IP. We all know Mario's the bigger name. Mario games have a higher value to consumers than Crash and, and Spyro do. I'm sorry, no insult to fans of those franchises or those characters or Activision who owns them. It's just Mario's a bigger deal. Mario games are worth more. Super Mario 64 on its own is probably worth more than the entire Crash Bandicoot series. I, I'm just being honest. Like I hate saying that because Crash used to be like the Sony mascot, but it, it's just Mario's that big of a deal. So I can't sit there and be like oh the crash games you know these other remasters that were done which again 3d all-stars is not a remaster is so terrible like this is like this would, this would be like getting upset that on snes back when uh the super mario all-stars came out that they didn't remaster the games i mean th there were some slightly better graphics i think in super mario brothers 3 but they didn't really remaster anything who cares it's a collection pack now i wish they would have did more I wish they would have at least widescreened Super Mario 64, or at least gave an option to play it in widescreen. But beyond that, if they weren't going to remaster the games, what the hell is wrong with this collection pack? It's just higher resolution versions of some of the best Mario games of all time. So all of the complaints, all of the complaints I'm seeing anyways, are all based around the fact that Nintendo didn't do what Activision did. Okay, but this game isn't a remaster. 
So don't judge it under the same guise as other remasters. Judge it as a collection pack. Judge it next to things like the Mass Effect trilogy. Judge it next to things like the Metroid trilogy collection pack that came out. You know, the Metroid Prime trilogy. Like, I'm serious. People look at this and they're looking at it all wrong. It's a collection pack. It's not a remaster. You need to compare it to other collection packs. And in every review I've read, and I, I've read, God, over a dozen at this point, none of them do the comparisons, in my opinion, properly. They don't. They'll judge the games, and they'll talk about the games a little bit here and there, but then they start comparing it to remasters. I'm sorry. That's not, that's not right. Now, we can wish they would have done gone down that route. We could have wished they would have remastered these games. But these are, it's just a collection pack. We, we have seen so many companies do collection packs before and not really do any upgrades. So I, I don't know what the big deal is. It's not a big deal. Super Mario 3D All-Stars, regardless of the reviews, is going to sell phenomenally well. As long as the games work and don't break, cool. The games work, they don't break, they are what they are. They're literally the old games in, in HD. You know, controls altered a little bit, you know, to, to, mat, to match with the Switch control scheme. I, I don't get, I don't know what the problem is. Sometimes I think these these quote unquote reviewers um, don't know what the hell they're doing. It's it's fair in a review, I suppose, to mention that you wish Nintendo would have went the remaster route, but to knock it points because it's not a remaster. God damn. I'm sorry. There there's no there's no maybe this is just my Nintendo bias coming out. But there is no way that a collection of Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy, those three games put into one package, shouldn't be a 90 and above. Shouldn't be a 90 and above. I'm sorry. Even if you don't like Sunshine, it shouldn't drag the score below a 90. I'm just being, I mean, this is just my honest opinion. There's no way in hell this should be a Metacritic 83. I'm actually criticizing that Metacritic rating. It's not Metacritic's fault. There's no way in hell that this game shouldn't be a 90 or a higher. Or it's a collection of games. Because each of these games are 90s or higher. I, like there's even, like some of the reviews that are negative about this mention that like individually these games are great, but as a collection it didn't do as well as these other. Yeah, it didn't remaster them. So stop. Ugh, stop. It's so frustrating. As a Nintendo fan, it's so frustrating to watch these professional reviewers. I didn't get a review copy, by the way. So sorry, no review for you guys. I'll do some impressions over the weekend, but damn. So stupid. All right, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Super Mario 3D All-Stars comes out in two days. So I'll see you guys then for a live stream.